In this video I'm going to show how I modified a Turnergy 9x V2 radio so that way you can use other modules with it, but importantly also so that you can use the original module that comes with it. The main motivation for making this video was many months ago Bruce at rcmodelreviews.com did a review of the 9x V2. Here's a stock one. Uh, and showed that unfortunately unlike the V1 the actual transmission module is hardwired into the radio body because the antenna is now on the body instead of on the module. So obviously that creates a problem where if you want to use another module with it you have to cut the cable and in doing so you're not going to be able to use the original system anymore. So I wanted to solve that and there were two main ways I saw being able to do it. Uh, one way was to move the antenna to the actual module which is what uh, FreeSky has actually done here you can see the antenna connector is right there on the module. Works really nicely whenever you want to uh, swap modules. But unfortunately in this case if you wanted to use the default antenna, here it is, um, whenever you mount it in there you can see that it would stick out quite a ways and when you go to rest your radio on the ground or a table uh, it would actually rest on the antenna. So that's not very ideal and I didn't, I didn't really want to pursue that method method I chose instead was to move the module to the antenna. So as you can see here, here's the default stock system and here's my system. It looks different. As you can tell the, mod the antenna up there at the top is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and see what I did. Let me turn on macro. Um, okay, so looking inside we can see that basically under a whole bunch of double-sided sticky tape, foam tape there, is where I put the PCB from the Turnigy module case. Basically what I did is I turned the module into a DIY kit and in doing so I wired up the power, the ground, and the PPM signals and also the antenna. What I did for the antenna was I used one of these this is a UFL to SMA connector pigtail. I picked up a pair of these on eBay fairly inexpensively and basically soldered it on to the PCB. You can see the black wire there goes up to the actual antenna. And I just hot glued it in. It seemed to work pretty well. On here down here you can see the wires, the green and the red wires there are my PPM and power basically connecting to this main connector here that goes across which is where the PPM signal comes to. Uh, you might be saying, hey wait a minute what about uh, your bind button or being able to turn it on or off whenever you use another module. Uh, I thought of that too. And so back here in the battery bay if I can open it I have a little push button switch right here that's the bind button now and I also have a sliding switch here to turn the module on or off. So let me go ahead and turn it on. You can see that whenever I turn it on I've also added a blue LED up there so you can clearly tell that it is in fact on. The internal system is on. Let me turn it off and show that whenever I turn the switch to off, turn it back on, it doesn't come on because right now the system is not powered. And also here in the back you can see the battery mod I did. This is two cell phone lithium ion batteries connected in series. Bruce at rcmodelreviews.com has a, um, a review showing how to do this basically connecting cell phone batteries to power this radio because in fact it only needs say six and a half volts or so or of course more to actually run because it has a 5 volt regulator inside. So that's basically how I did it. Uh, it was fairly inexpensive to do. Basically I had to buy the pigtail and then I suppose the switch and the push button. What's really cool too is I can actually remove the antenna. Say I wanted to use the FreeSky module I have here in the back right now. Just remove the antenna and screw it in all the way. And there you go. You're ready to use the free space system if you want to. 
So that's just a quick look at how I did uh, modifications of this radio. Uh, I, I, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I mean, whenever you put this back in here, it looks very, very stock. It looks like it was designed that way. So I'm pleased with the way it turned out. Um, it looks great, really. And I just want to get this video out here to show people how you can modify this radio so that way you can use the original Eternity system that comes with it, but also be able to use any other system you want. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to put a, a better write-up of this on my website at musclera.com. That's muscle with an M. Um, just showing more pictures about the step-by-step -step process, how I actually mounted in there, because of course you can't really see a whole lot looking at all that tape. You can see the PCB, but it's in there somewhere. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.